What's up, sports fans? It's your man D back. Speedy Mind Sports Talk. All right, check this out, man. I got to talk about this guy right here. LeBron James, you low down, dirty scoundrel. That's right. I called him that. LeBron James, you low down, dirty scoundrel. Now let me break it down and tell you guys and explain why LeBron James is on the episode of You Idiot. That's right. Anybody can get it. And when you deserve to get it, you're going to be a special guest on my episode of You Idiot. And today we got LeBron James. But I'll tell you guys why I say this about LeBron James. Now, I'm a New York Knicks fan, so I really have no horse in this race. But I was enjoying the playoffs. My partner and I, we were sports network, we were doing games back and forth. But I began to lose interest in this playoffs. And it had to do with the NBA, and it appeared to be their charge to make sure that the LA Lakers get at least into the finals game, but also win the finals. And I think that it's a combination of things here, guys. It's a combination. I do believe that he's least on the table, although he has something to do with it. I think it's more about a tribute to the great Kobe Bryant, brought so much to the game. And RIP Kobe, he passed this year. Um, you know, unfortunate accident with some friends, his daughter, and a helicopter crash. And for the Lakers to win, the whole thing is definitely, you know, they're going to associate tribute to the great Kobe Bryant. Also, the L.A. Lakers will be able to tie the Boston Celtics concerning the championships won, which is huge. Uh, it's a huge Huge accomplishment for the LA Lakers organization and the fans. So they can sit there at the top. We now have as many titles as the great Boston Celtics. And then LeBron James slides in here because he's the media darling. He's just, you know, his self proclaimed GOAT. Everything he can do to try to chase down Michael Jordan, which you'll never get there, you idiot. But anyway, it has a lot to do. I think it's a combination with all of those things. And then it, and I began to lose interest in this playoffs because it appeared to me clearly that the Lakers was going to win it. And they were going to win it because they were going to be assisted, assisted by the officiating. And I hate to sound that way, but that's just how it is. You guys can go back and watch all the previous games and you'll see that the officiating has – seem to always be in the Lakers' favor. Although they're a talented team, and they have this great guy on there, Anthony Davis, which is a big reason the Lakers find themselves where they are in the finals. You know, Anthony Davis saved the day on multiple occasions against that young Denver Nuggets team. One game, he actually hit the game-winning shot at Preston three-pointer to get the Lakers past that team. Um, Anthony Davis has been absolutely balling out this player, right? And when you have a guy that is playing at that caliber, he needs to get the ball. Well, let's talk about where LeBron James fits in all of this. You idiot. Because LeBron James is basically robbing Anthony Davis of the shine that he deserves in this NBA Finals. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. We all know that a traditional point guard will never thrive around a LeBron James because he controls the ball. He facilitates the ball. ball. That's LeBron James style of play because he's so worried about building up his assist stat. His stat. Double, double stat. Double stat, 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 stat. See, that's what LeBron James is all about. His statistics. And the reason he's the special guest of you idiot today because he's chasing down a certain statistic and he's screwing over Anthony Davis in the process. See, LeBron James in this finals against the Miami Heat, he's not giving Anthony Davis a fair chance to shine. LeBron James is not giving Anthony Davis the fair chance to collect that elusive finals MVP trophy because LeBron James not facilitating that ball to Anthony Davis. He's not throwing that ball to Anthony Davis. He's not finding Anthony Davis for the open shots, for the open cuts to the lane, the fancy alley-oops. See, LeBron James 
taking advantage of a weaker team in the Miami Heat. Now, they may not have been the weaker team until Gordon Dragic ah, hurt that ankle. And, you know, the last game of the season uh, versus the Celtics, Bam out of bio hurt that left arm and shoulder. And, you know, with those two guys, they're key pieces in this Miami Heat team. They probably just didn't have enough strength to make it competitive or get it done against this Lakers team. But with that information and that being known, LeBron James has taken every single step he can to not disperse that ball to Anthony Davis because LeBron James wants to do what LeBron James has been doing his entire career. He wants to pack stats. He also wants to collect that elusive finals MVP award that has eluded him many times before. Uh, not too many. He only has three titles. But when you look at that finals MVP, it says this. Uh, this is my team. And I bought them here and I took them to that goal. That's what that finals MVP represents. The great Michael Jordan was perfect with finals MVP. Every time he stepped foot in the finals, he won the MVP award. He also won the finals, 100%. LeBron James, not so much. He's only has one. He's trying to collect his second one. And he's making sure that Anthony Davis will not stand in his way to do it. That's why I say, LeBron James, you idiot. And you low down, dirty scoundrel, because I see what you're doing. There are even Lakers fans that see what LeBron James is doing. And it's absolutely disgusting what LeBron James is doing. Because the fact of the matter is, that title, that trophy, that award of finals MVP does say, yes, I'm the guy that brought my team here, we got here, and I'm the guy that made sure we put this thing to bed and took that part of the trophy. Well, part of that is true. Yeah, you're doing everything you can to show you that guy while in the finals and lead your team to that trophy. But it was Anthony Davis who led you guys to the big dance. It's Anthony Davis who you're robbing of his shine. How about you facilitate that ball to Anthony Davis the way you did when you guys were down against the Denver Nuggets? How about you facilitate that ball and defer that ball off like we're used to you doing, LeBron James, when the chicks get tough? Like you deferred the ball off when you were in Miami. You know, like you deferred the ball off when you were in Cleveland. Now all of a sudden, against an undermanned team, LeBron James wants to shine again. He wants to shine again and keep that ball away from Anthony Davis, who's clearly been the man on that team. Anthony Davis has been the best player on that team. And if he had the opportunity to get the ball, which he's not getting it from the master facilitator, LeBron James, I think Anthony Davis would take that elusive finals MVP trophy right out of LeBron James' hands. And I believe that LeBron James understands this as well, which is why he's keeping that ball away from Anthony Davis. Well, LeBron James, the gig's up. You've been found out. E. Jefferson not letting that slide by. If you thought you was going to get away with it, you didn't, LeBron James. You idiot. I see what you're doing. And a lot of Lakers fans see what you're doing. And a lot of basketball fans see what you're doing. The only people that may not see what you're doing, LeBron, is the LeBron James love. The LeBron James fanboys. The LeBron James delusion. The diehard LeBron James fans that may even see what you're doing, but not willing to accept it. But I see right through you, LeBron James. And that's why you're a special guest on this episode Oh, you idiot. So I'll say it once and I'll say it again. LeBron James, you low down dirty scoundrel. It's disgusting what you did to Anthony Davis. It's disgusting. Yeah. So hard on catching Michael Jordan. You want to collect this next finals MVP at any means necessary, even if that means downing the guy that's responsible for bringing you to that goal. Well, you know what, LeBron James? Free agency is up next year. I wouldn't blame Anthony Davis if he hightailed it away from you. 
And if Anthony Davis does hightail it away from you, LeBron James, you're finished. You all want another thing. And I think that some people should start putting it in Anthony Davis's ear to get away from you, especially what you did to him in this finals, because I see what you're doing. And if he does get away from you and go to another team, wouldn't it be nice to see Anthony Davis go to say, hmm, a Denver Nuggets team? That might not be bad. Or see Anthony Davis go to say, hmm, Houston Rockets team. He's a second guy, big guy down there in the hole. Or, you know, Maybe he links up with a Toronto Raptors team that would really fit in well. Or oh, Anthony Davis could slide right back to that New Orleans Pelicans team with the young squad down there, Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball. That would be pretty good. Derek Favors and Anthony Davis down there in the hole. Big boy Zion Williamson, Lonzo Ball, and Brandon Ingram. Pretty interesting. Anthony Davis has a lot of options. How many options do you have, LeBron James? You idiot! If he left you, you would deserve every bit of it, LeBron James, because you screwed him out of really what's rightfully his. That finals MVP trophy. Because you understand he's a better player than you. You understand he's the anchor of that team, LeBron. And you understand that had you facilitated him that ball and played the team ball like you're supposed to, Number one, you probably would have swept the Miami Heat. Number two, Anthony Davis would have came to snatch that finals MVP trophy away from you once again. You're waiting yet. So that's what I like to say about LeBron James. He didn't fool old D. Jefferson, and he didn't fool a lot of basketball fans out there. Y'all know how I always in this thing. For the love of sports, let's talk about it. Peace.